Oh yeah. Shit about to get real in this bitch. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I gotta tell you guys a secret. I gotta tell you guys a secret. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for this? Brass tax is in this bitch. There ain't no secret in this bitch, you already know. I love 3D Blu-rays as much as I love 4K Blu-rays. I put quite a bit of thought into this and decided I was gonna do a top 10 list on Blu-ray transfers, not the movies themselves, because I think there's some movies in here that I don't even like, but it's about the 3D transfers in terms of pop out, in terms of depth, immersion. So this is what this list is on. This is my opinion on the top 10 best Blu-rays available now. Journey 2, featuring Dwayne The Rock Johnson in this bitch. As a movie, I thought it was stupid. I'll keep it real with you. I thought it was stupid. I felt gay as fuck watching that when Rock was doing his titty jump shit. But that's beside the point. The whole B scene, phenomenal. Great 3D in this. Recommend it. The depth is super cool in this. Martian. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, God damn, that's not even in your main list. I know it's not in my main list because there's other 3D Blu-rays which I think are, have, have better 3D on them. That being said, the 3D on this was really, really, really good. But it was really good in Mars. It wasn't all that when they were back in Earth in this bitch. And them back on Earth is like a good third of this movie. But it's still a good one. Piranha 3D D in this bitch. I like the first Piranha movie. This one sucked balls and not in a good way. But... The 3D was super deep, super depth. It was actually shot in 3D, which you could clearly tell this movie. I have this movie just for that. Oz, the great and powerful, whatever it is. Mr. Franco did a really good job in this movie. As soon as he lands on Oz, the whole screen opens up, everything becomes 3D from the flowers to the yellow brick road in this bitch. Was Mila Kunis the witch? If she was, I should have maybe put this in the top 10. Sanctum, this movie was pants, yeah? But the 3D from the beginning opening scene with the chopper going towards the caves in this bitch. The underwater scenes, it was quite claustrophobic. You know you're watching good 3D when they're going underwater and you doing this and this shit. You know you're watching good 3D in that bitch. The Great Gatsby. The whole party party atmosphere really jumps out of the screen and the colours are beautiful, the depth is beautiful. And it's just a beautifully shot movie. It looks like you're watching a picture in this bitch but a 3D picture at that and one of the first 3D releases they were, and that was Drive Angry. I believe that that movie is probably the last of Nicolas Cage's good movies. Ever since then, his career been on a decline like a motherfucker. But the 3D in this movie is good, it's a guilty pleasure. It's one of those movies that could have become a cult classic. Maybe it is and I don't know. It's a good one, and Amber Heard in 3D, god damn! You just gonna have to pick it up for that shit. 3D is really good in this one. Look, now we've got the honorable mentions out of the way. Even then, those should be in your collection. They are really, really, really good. Now, here's the top 10. They're not really in any order apart from the top three. Number four to number 10, you can mix around however you want. Avengers. God damn. You know, the 3D in this was stellar. I don't even think it was shot natively in 3D. But the implementation of 3D in this movie, Loki getting fucked up by the Hulk, was classic. It was even more classic in 3D. And the last 45 minutes of this movie was gorgeous. You felt like you were there with the Avengers in this bitch. You felt like you were there with Scarlett Johansson in this bitch. The X-Men Apocalypse in this bitch. That was natively shot in 3D, I believe. And boy, did it show. Everything from the opening credits all the way down to the end of the movie there was shit in your face, there was shit away from you, that's a lot of shit right there. In any case, there was a lot of 3D shit in this movie. I actually really enjoyed this movie, probably because I didn't have big expectations for it. I think the only problem with this movie is that in every new X-Men movie, they've tried to outdo themselves, they've tried to make it bigger and bigger and bigger, and that's what they try to do with this, and I think they fell short, but it's still an enjoyable movie in this bitch. And the 3D just puts it over the edge. <laughs> I knew nothing about this Marvel character specifically until I saw a trailer. And when I saw the trailer, I still wasn't impressed. I'm like, nah, 
I'm gonna wait for this shit to come out on Blu-ray and pick it up then. I should have seen this in the theatre. Ant-Man was a, a hugely funny movie. Ant-Man to me is one of the best Marvel movies. For sure. One of the best. Still doesn't beat Civil War, but it's one of the best. When he is Ant-Man and he's all miniaturised in this bitch, you see everything around him, you feel like you're in that world. The 3D on this disc was superb. Pick this up. One of the worst trailer responses in history in this bitch. A movie that was one, totally unnecessary, should not have been called what it was called, and featured the original cast that only served as a reminder as to how much of a classic the original was, and that's Ghostbusters. It's called Ghostbusters Answer the Call? What a stupid ass title. Should have been called Ghostbusters, go fuck yourself. But the 3D doesn't have to go fuck itself, not at all. Across the board, this is a stellar release. 1080p Blu-ray, awesome. To the 4K Blu-ray, amazing. To the 3D, also amazing. They got shit coming out the aspect ratio in this bitch. God damn. Photons feel like they're zapping you and shit. When the ghosts are there, you feel like the ghosts in there with you, yeah? When slime is in your face, you feel like you could touch Slimer in this bitch. No homo, I guess. An okay film. Another one which is fantastic in 4K, fantastic in 3D. An okay movie, but the 3D makes it a lot better in my opinion. In the heart of the sea, the whale scenes made you feel like you were in that bitch. Really gripping stuff, edge of your seat stuff. The way the camera was shot with the 3D made you feel like you were there with them. It's a really beautiful looking movie. It's a shame about the movie itself, I think it could have been a lot better, but it's a beautifully shot movie and has one of the best 3Ds going today. Another one to pick up. Now, I had Jungle Book for a little while and I was avoiding it because I thought to myself, I ain't in the mood for no kiddie shit in this bitch. But I heard good things. So one evening, I turned the lights down low, switched the 3D on, sat back, ate some popcorn, I mean salad, watched that movie. It's one of my favourite movies this year. It's so enjoyable. What pushes it over the edge, one thing I didn't realise is, is apart from Mowgli in this bitch, everything else around him is CGI. God. Damn! You know CGI come a long way when you can watch a movie like that and just say, shit. Everything in this movie looks beautiful. The CGI looks fantastic as well. Like, I was looking at this shit trying to figure out, like, I couldn't even tell. I couldn't even tell. I feel like Shea Khan was looking at me. Shit, I was ready to leave my own house. 3D, top to bottom, beautiful, a real sense of depth. The depth of field is simply amazing. There are some nice pop-out moments and Christopher Walken's in this bitch. So it's a win-win. It is one of the best Blu-rays going. Once again, pick this up because it's a great movie and it's got great 3D implementation in this bitch. I think it's amazing that we can finally have a Star Wars movie, a good Star Wars movie that we could actually watch in 3D. And The Force Awakens, I didn't even know this was coming out in 3D, to be honest. It kind of just surprised us here in the UK. I don't know whether they advertised a lot of it in the US, but shit. It came out, I picked it up in a heartbeat. This wasn't released alongside the actual Blu-ray release, so they must have really spent some time on this bitch, and boy did it show. This is one of the best 3D Blu-rays, hands down. The enemy ships look like they're sticking out of their TV screen. Lightsabers, Han Solo look like he there with you. Chewbacca feel like you could just stroke his hair. No homo again. A lot of people, this may even be number one. The 3D is that spectacular. Buy it, tell me I'm lying. A movie that actually spearheaded this whole 3D movement, and that is Avatar. I watched it in the theater, along with the whole fucking world, apparently, with how well that movie did. And I was absolutely blown away. I think I watched it two or three times in the theatre. It was that good. Then I had to wait like two, three, four, five years for it to come out on anything else than Panasonic in this bitch. Because you remember when the 3D came out, it was an exclusive, right? Especially for us in the UK. And I was pissed. But I finally got my hands on it. And the 3D on this is mind-blowing. Everything just pops. Everything sticks out of the screen. You can look into the screen. It's like looking through a window in this bitch. This is one of those 3D Blu-rays that looked as good as the theatre. The 3D was that good. You know, you got a big TV, you got the lights down low and you stick this on. You are not going to be disappointed from the first second you're in a creamy pants. I ain't going to lie to you. 
I know some of you thinking, God damn. He named Avatar. He named The Force Awakens. He named Jungle Book. Those are three amazing Blu-rays. What could he have missed out in this bitch? Number two and number one. Like I said, the first three, including Avatar, the interchangeable, right? This was initially my number one. Then I really thought about it and switched it around again. Pacific Rim. God damn. This movie was fucking awesome. This movie was kick-ass. I hope they make a sequel, but I hope they make a sequel and don't fuck it up. I hope it's a prequel. With Idris Elba in this bitch. I want to I see his story. His story looks interesting as a mofo. I want to find out about that shit. But I want to find out about it in 3D and 4K. I have the 4K disc of this and that is beautiful. But I still prefer the 3D. This 3D is top tier. This 3D, the picture quality is visually stunning. That's number one. The colours, the radiance in this movie is amazing too. Number three, just the 3D on every level is just fucking spectacular. You know when a family member comes in, puts the glasses on and he's doing this? You know 3D is the shit. Must have. A movie that was deep, meaningful. A movie that's well crafted and a movie that was one of the best directed movies of its year. A movie that I feel deserved all the accolades, all the Oscars, all the Academy Awards. It got the special effects, the CGI is second to none. And to this day, I still go out, apart from The Revenant, I would say this is probably one of the most beautiful movies I've seen. And that is Life of Pi. The 3D on this, the cinematography, I can't even call it amazing, it's just special. This should be on everyone's 3D list. Even if you can only get five movies, this has to be one of them. As far as I'm concerned, this is the gold standard. I'm going to say no more about it. Pick up any of these Blu-rays that I've mentioned, you will not be disappointed. I know also that I haven't mentioned any animated movies. And that's simply because I haven't watched enough animated movies to give you a solid top 10, but I am gonna watch some in the coming weeks. So I'm gonna I'm a make a separate list for the animated ones. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with the list? Do you have your own list? What's your list of 3D? Maybe I've missed something out. Tell me what you guys think, yeah? Anyway, guys, that's it. That's me done for the 3D shit for now. Hit the like button if you liked it. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already, people, definitely subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll catch you next time.